Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. From time to time, we get asked about different buildings on the farm. What, what's this building for? What's that building for? Today, we're going to talk about barns. What is the purpose of a barn? Now, our Farm Basics topic every week is designed for non-farmers. If you are a farmer, you're probably going, why would somebody ask you about what's the purpose of a barn? But honestly, even for my kids, where we've torn down an old barn that fell that it basically was in horrible shape on our farm. We tore that down when the kids were young, so we haven't used a barn on the farm. They probably too are wondering, well, why did you guys have that barn around the place? Well, for us, we use the upper part of the barn for storage of straw. That's That was on our farm. That was a big deal. We'd harvest wheat or oats, then have the straw, and we use the straw as bedding for livestock. And in the basement of our barn, well, we had all kinds of hogs. I don't remember how many it was, but it was several hundred hogs in the basement that go inside and then also outside the barn. So those are the two main purposes of the barn we had on our farm growing up. Well, you think about it then. Okay, you had livestock that were in that barn. Yes, we did. And it was very nice and warm throughout the winter because we had all the straw above them. We had a straw bedding uh, underneath them as well. And of course, all the heat just from having a whole bunch of animals in a small amount of space. Well, it was a great place to work. It was a great place for those animals to come in and get some protection in the winter. There were a lot of positives about that barn. But Darren, it was also a great place for birds to fly in. And you know what? Spiders and all kinds of insects liked it. So we constantly had to be sweeping things up, cleaning things up, trying our best to keep all these other animals out and the hogs doing well inside. Well, and, and you think about that old classic American barn and there are several different shapes, but you, you get the picture. This is what I think of when I think of a barn. Today's barns are just a little bit different. You see a lot of great big pole barns that are up that farmers are storing machinery in or they're, they're working on equipment in these places or even large livestock operations. They've just changed how those barns ha have been. So the old barns that you're probably thinking of when you think about a barn on a farm, yep, they served their purpose. They had their time and they're beautiful. So many farmers have kept them up in great shape just so they could enjoy their beauty, if nothing else. Yep, but unfortunately, like for our farm, by the time Darren and I got a hold of it, well, it was already rotten inside, roof was bad. I, at that point, there was nothing we could do but tear our barn down. Uh, but like Darren said, fortunately, we do see a lot of great old barns still existing around the country that have been well taken care of over the years. Well, one other thing that we see at a lot of farms across the country is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up later in the show.